Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our daily learning of the Pelayoyets. We had a long hiatus for the midwinter break, but now we're back in the saddle of learning Be'ez Hashem. We're speaking over here about the idea of a woman who finds herself married to a man who just doesn't turn out to be the great tzaddik that she thought he was going to be. His midos are not as refined, his Yerushimayim is not where it should be, his learning is not what it could be, he doesn't make it to shul for davening on a regular basis, he's not such a great father, he doesn't clean up after himself, he's messy, he's lazy, he's schlubby, all the different things. Maybe he's at a mid of kas, of anger, he's a bit of a balgaiva, he's too hard, he can see that he's got all the chesroinahs, all the deficiencies that a woman could imagine, she didn't see during the dating, she was swept off her feet by the knight in shining armor, and now she realizes that he is a knight in tarnished armor, and he's not, not what she thought that he's going to be. Nevertheless, HaKadosh Baruch has brought you together, and the marriage has taken place, and there was a, a band, and there was a shmorg, and there was a Rosh Hashiva marrying you under the chuppah, and there was dancing, and there was singing, and there were gifts, and there was an apartment that was rented or bought, and there's a car that's leased, and there's furniture that is placed inside, and now you have a life together. So what are you going to do? Says the Pelayoy, it's just like a man who realizes post facto that his wife is not the great Sadekis, the righteous woman that he thought that she was going to be, but rather she's difficult in his eyes, the way she nags at him and she pokes at him, and she doesn't be mechabed him, she doesn't honor him properly, and she, she's messy, and she's lazy, and she doesn't get things done, and she has a mean streak as well, and she can hold grudges, and she never forgets anything, like that elephant never forgets. His wife remembers every single detail from the time that they met on the first date. Nevertheless, the husband has to look at it as mina shemaim. this is what HaKadosh Baruch has sent me, and I'm going to do my best to be mesakin, to work on myself, and become a greater person and see the beauty in my spouse and see the wonder of this shirach that HaKadosh Baruch has made and see how we're going to make the best out of the marriage that HaKadosh Baruch has decreed min HaShemayim. The same is true of a woman who realizes that about her husband. And he writes to me the following, Ha'lamaze What is this comparable to? Le'isha she'amel chafez bi'ekaroi you have a, a person that the king of the country desires his, the honor of this particular person. He makes him second in command to the king. He becomes like the viceroy to the country. Everybody now in the city, in the country, has an obligation to give him honor. Even if he's like a kind of despicable type of a person, he has tsaras perhaps, he has leprosy, or zav, he has other lesions that are creating uh, excretions coming from his skin and the like. He's not such a handsome man, he's not such a pleasant person to be around because of these physical ailments. Nevertheless, uh, if he's chosen by the king to be second in command, everybody has an obligation to be mechabit, to honor him properly. Chein hadov razeh. The same thing is true with a husband and a wife. Just like a woman is particular and careful in the mitzvahs of Nida, going to the mikvah for the, family, uh, for the sake of family purity, She's, she makes challah on Erev Shabbos for the Shabbos table of Adlachis and there, and she lights the Shabbos candles every week in time not after the sun goes down, but before the sun goes down, to accept Shabbos upon herself and the entire household. She's careful with that. She must be very careful, and particular with the honor that she gives to her husband. Because that is what the king has commanded her. The king is the Rebbeinah Shailam. He's the king of the universe. And he's commanded a wife, just like you have to be careful with this mitzvah and that mitzvah, you have another mitzvah. And that is to honor your husband in the proper way. And she'll increase her reward in this world and the world to come. When her actions prove, she's doing everything because HaKadosh Baruch Hu commanded her. She's fulfilling the decree of the king of the universe. Her husband's an oisvarf, which means that he's a... 
he's a shlemazel of a guy. Her husband is a, doesn't treat her in the right way all the time. He's not loving, he's not caring, he's not sensitive. All the different plagues that plague mankind in our world, which is, which is unfortunately hurting so many marriages. Nevertheless, says the Pelagyoyetz, HaKadosh Baruch Hu told her to act in a different way. And that is honor your husband. And ladies, you have to understand, the more that you're mechabid, the more that you honor your husband, the more honorable he feels, the more he's going to turn around and honor you as well. The more he's going to lift himself up and he's going to pull himself out of the, the uh, world of, of inertia, of how to be a good husband, he'll teach himself whether he's going to learn it himself, whether he'll go to his, his rabbanim and he'll learn from them, whether he'll take a class, whether he'll read a book, whether he'll listen to some shirim online about how to be a better husband, he'll want to improve when he sees how nicely you treat him, how much you are mechab and how you honor and respect him, how you look up to him, even though he, he himself knows that he's not the person that is worthy of being looked up to the way that you look at him. It puts him on a different plane, a different level, and he begins to feel better about himself, and he takes his marriage and his responsibilities and his duties more seriously. So you have nothing to lose out on. You have only to gain. HaKadosh Baruch Hu commanded you, even when it doesn't feel right, even when he's not treating you in the best possible of ways, even when he's not the great tzaddik that, he turned, that you thought he's going to be. Nevertheless, the Melech, the king of the universe, has commanded you to honor and respect and give him, and give him accolades and compliments and the like. And if you do that, HaKadosh Baruch Hu sees you're acting for the sake of heaven. Someone who acts for the sake of heaven to try to ensure a beautiful and a peaceful and a happy marriage, they will be rewarded here in this world that their husband is going to make changes in his life. Be'ez Hashem, you will see. And certainly the great reward in the world to come that you tried your best to create a house that is a bastion of shalom bayis, of harmony and peace in the home. Have a wonderful day.